All right, so, so here's the question. Um, I was asked this question, which is the most important lesson that, that I learned during the work with, uh, the, the, during the writing of, of Fundamentals of Massive MIMO. And uh, I had to think hard because there are, I mean, uh, there are so many things that I learned and just too many of them. But if I had to pick one thing, technical thing that, or insight that I, I gained through this work, then that would probably be that channel state information is a typically the limiting factor in, in, in wireless systems. So what does this mean? Okay, it means that uh, performance of a wireless system, unless you have very little mobility, so everybody's like standing still, so your channel coherence is very, very long, okay? So you can pack in as many trainings and pilots as you just as you want. Unless you have that, but that's not too interesting. I mean, if you're standing entirely still your whole life, you can just plug in a cable, okay? And you have your, you know, uh, internet or whatever access through that, okay? But so, so wireless is really only um, or really an issue when, when, when we're at high mobility. And high mobility means short channel coherence. It means very little time to pack in training data or pilots. And um, that, that, that's the case that's really interesting. And um, it turns out that, uh, you know, lots of academic papers, they say, okay, now we're gonna analyze the system. So we assume that everybody has perfect channel state information. So you know, at least propagation, impulse responses and so forth. And you can do, it's beautiful mathematics and optimization and so forth. However, once you are in practice and reality, you'll discover and this is the lesson that I learned that, you know, well, what really determines the performance you can get is the quality of the estimates of these channels and, and propagation impulse responses that you have. So that, I think, is, is uh, an, an important, maybe, yeah, maybe the most important technical lesson that, that, that I, or insight that, that I got. And uh, what's so, say, comforting in this context, though, is that uh, all the analysis that we have here in, in the book, it takes into account, rigorously takes into account the effects of channel estimation errors and imperfections in the, or, okay, channel state information. Um, there are several kinds of errors that affect the, the uh, channel estimates. In fact, um, uh, obviously, one is noise, right? I mean, you know, you have a limited time and a li li limited energy budget before your channel changes. And during that time, your, your terminal has to send some pilot waveform. Okay, and you measure the time pilot waveform and it'll be noisy. And therefore, your estimate of your channel coefficients will be, say, uh, a little noisy. They'll have estimation errors, right? And those estimation errors, they will affect then how well you can form beams and so on. Okay. Uh, but it's another kind of estimation error which results from the fact that uh, these pilot waveforms that are used, they, they have to be geographically reused in, 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 in that, you know, maybe within a cell everybody can have his own like unique and orthogonal little pilot and maybe in the neighboring cells as well, but then at some, some way further away, the same set of pilot waveforms will, will have to be reused. In fact, it doesn't matter if it's the same set or some other set. I mean, as long as those dimensions of your signal space are used again, then you'll have this effect. And um, when, when those guys over in the other cells send their pilots, then those pilots will collide in a way with the pilots in the home cell. And, and the effect, the consequence of that is that the estimates of the, the channel responses will be contaminated. This is known as pilot contamination. That's a popular name, but really what it is is interference uh, on your pilots during the channel estimation phase and um, that that's an important thing i mean it's not it's not a uh, um, not necessarily a uh, limiting factor uh well there are cases where it is a limiting factor but put it this way it's an important thing that you gotta understand and really know and understand in depth when you optimize and, and design your system, but properly dealt with, it's not a big deal, okay? So that, that's what it is, pilot contamination. And um, yeah, I think that, that really, that's the, the answer to, to, to this question. Yeah, the, the most important lesson.